Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And have you ever wanted to make a mapping video like mine? Well, I'm here to show you. So first you need to go to this website called The Blank Atlas. And it shows all all kinds of maps. Like, like go to the search bar and top which map you want. Apparently, I want a Europe map to show you. So you have to find a good map of what continent you want. Like for me, I need to choose a good Europe map like this one. So let's say I want to make France and Spain fight each other. So I have to screenshot this like um part right here. You don't have to screenshot the entire thing, just like that section I just got. And you're going to want to go to pixel art. So once you're here, you should have a blank screen exactly like this one. Then you have to click file and open image. Once you do that, you need to um, find the screenshot you took and put it right there. And for some reason, pixel art has these like ads right here. But anyways, here's one of the dumb parts about having to do this. Now, you don't have to do this, but when I do it, even after I take um, the screenshot and put it on pixel art, I still download the pixelated blank map. It's dumb, I know. Okay, so once you do that, even though you totally don't have to, but I do kind of recommend it. But anyways, so let's say I wanted to make France the um, country to attack Spain. So I would color France red. It doesn't matter which shade of red you use, as long, it's a, as, long as it is a reddish red, um, you're fine. So you want to try to color all the islands. It's okay if you don't color all of them. It's super common to make mistakes like these. And the country that is being attacked is going to be colored blue. And again, don't forget these islands right here. So, let me show you the wrong way to do this. Like, let's choose red, and we're going to go to 16. This is the wrong way to do it. This isn't good. See, doing this won't make your mapping video look good. Or make the screenshot look good. And besides, you can't cover up the border with any colors. No, you have to keep it exactly like it is. So, anyways, I recommend using the shade of red I'm using now. Um, it is this one right here. D50,000, um, I believe, yeah. Okay, to make um, the mark of invasion, you have to go to the color EF. 5350 and click on that and make sure your pencil size your pixel size is on one then you're going to want to go down here and find the point where you want to attack at so i would choose like around here maybe so um so go ahead and draw the line hold on so so draw the line Make sure it's not too far away from, like, the borders of the attacking country. Because that would just be unrealistic. And then, you're going to want to make this as, like, thick as possible. Not, like, pretty thick, like, two to three pixels thick. Like, two to three layers thick, like this. You just want to make it thick. So, once you do that, you are... You are free to put in the color, but it can't be this exact same color as you used for this. Um, you have to put it in the attacking country's um color, like this. This is how you make an like a little invasion, and you can make like multiple of these, like I'm gonna do. And just know this um, prototype right here won't actually go on YouTube. It's just um, a test to show you how to do this. And just know this isn't just for a France versus Spain. This is for what you want to do, like what countries you want to do. So remember, use, the, use a lot of version of the color you are using. Make it a few pixels um, thick. Make it a few layers thick. And then put it in the country's attacking color. Okay, for now, this seems good. So you're going to want to go to download and download.png. After you do that, you're going to want to keep um, 
coloring um, this in. Like, those outlines, you're going to want to color them in, though. And since this is going to take, like, a pretty long time to actually do this in full, I'm just going to see you guys later when I actually get it done.